Hi, I'm Trucker Mama Cat. I am the mother of a trucker, my son David. We are over the road and I am a professional passenger. Today I'm going to be making for you stuffed apples for breakfast. Uh, here I have all of our ingredients that we're going to be using today. The apples, the eggs, some cheese that I'm going to be topping it with, and some wonderful sausage. Yum! Okay, well let's get started. The first thing we need to do is cut the tops off our apples and then we're going to core them so that we have a nice little bowl that we can steam and fill. Okay, well as you can see I have already started and hollowed out one of my apples. Uh, just to show you folks a little bit of how that works, I cut the top off and then using a large serving spoon, you could use a smaller one if that's more comfortable for you, I just simply work my way around the inside of the apple and remove the core and then just continue to dig it out until we have a nice little bowl like this one. Alright, now that we have our apples all nice and cleaned out, we're going to put them in the microwave and steam them a bit to make them nice and soft and flavorful. So what we're going to do is put the apples upside down on this little saucer. It's microwave safe, of course. Add just a little bit of water. And then take them over to the microwave and put them in for five minutes. one of these, great. If you don't, just turn them about halfway through to cook them properly. And there we go. Now, while those are cooking, we're going to start on the rest of our ingredients. Alright, now we're ready to start preparing our ingredients that are going to go in our apples. Here I've got one of the sausages and another apple. These are awesome. They sell them at every grocery store. It saves you a lot of work when it comes to coring your apple. and It'll make chopping it up for the stuffing so much easier. All you need to do is place it on top of your apple and press down firmly. And for those of you who are wondering, these apples that I'm using are called Pink Ladies. You could use Granny Smith or whatever particular type you like. I'm a Pink Lady. And see, just like that, here's our core. All nice and clean. set that to the side for now and then we're going to mince our apples and sausage I'll be right back okay so now that we got all our apples and sausage cut up the next step is to start cooking you can see I've already got my electric skillet here all set up and ready to go and I've got a little butter here this is what we're going to saute the sausage and apples in now me personally, I like Land O'Lakes, but you could use whatever type of butter you prefer. I do recommend using actual butter as opposed to vegetable spread. It'll give your apples a nice brown, sweet texture and flavor. As you can see by the butter sizzling, I have already preheated my pan this better around a little bit. There we go. And 
and we're off to the races. I wish y'all could smell this. It smells delicious. The sweet apples with the smoky sausage. It's going to be good. I preheated my pan to about 350, 375. When you're working with a uh, skillet in a big rig, your temperatures aren't going to be quite as exact as when you're doing this at home. So you kind of have to play with the temperatures a little bit. We do have an inverter, so we do get clean sine wave but still the, the power that comes through is a little more, I like to call it squiffy. Those are burning up nicely. Let me tilt this up a little so you all can see this better. You can see how the apples are starting to caramelize the sugar, sugar in them and the sausage is getting a nice little golden crust on it. Beautiful. ready to add to it. You can see that I already have my four eggs here. You can tell I've been cracking eggs for a few years here. No shells in my eggs. Break up those yolks a little. I'm going to add a little milk and cheese. Just about a tablespoon of milk because it gives it a creamier texture. And now some of you may be thinking apples and cheese, that's an odd combination, but I'll tell you, my grandpa used to always say, apples without the cheese is like a hug without the squeeze. Don't knock it till you try it. And you'll notice I just kind of eyeball things. I was taught to cook that way. Most folks like to measure nowadays, but I've been doing this for a few minutes and I can kind of just tell. 
So now we're going to mix all that wonderful stuff together. Normally I would, if this was just plain scrambled eggs, I'd add a little salt and pepper to that. But with the sausage, that's going to add plenty of salt already. So we're not going to want to add extra salt or you're going to wind up with a salt bomb. And nobody wants that. All right. We are ready to turn our power back up. Pour our eggs back in. cook up a little bit and then I'll be back to show you how to stuff your apples all right so now we have our apples here our stuffing mixture is ready to go now all we got to do is put it in the apples we're just going to scoop a little at a time because these apples aren't that big and make sure we get all that wonderful cheese The reason I steamed the apples themselves as well is because you're going to be wanting to eat those too. Don't be afraid to heap it in there. There's plenty of stuffing here. If you have extra left over, that's okay. You can just put that on the plate and eat it on the side. There you have it, folks. Stuffed apples for breakfast. Dig in.